time for story time and Sister Julia, I'm gonna do it the story for us today. Okay, now you can hear me. Good morning and happy Sabbath. Usually when I tell a story, I like to start off with a verse that the story is going to kind of be about, but this story has a little element of surprise, so we'll do the verse afterwards. So today I want to tell you about a story of a classroom of kids. They were all in the classroom seated at their desk, and the teacher walks in, and the teacher said, surprise, we're going to have a pop quiz today. A surprise test. Anybody ever had that in their classroom? Yes. A test that you maybe didn't know about? Um, and adults listen too because this is a good lesson for the adults. So he said we're gonna have a surprise quiz and of course all the kids kind of rustled around and were, oh boy oh no I didn't study anything. And he had a habit of passing out his test papers face down so they couldn't see him until he got everybody Everybody had their test on their desk. So he went through the classroom and was passing out the test face down. And he got back up to the front of the classroom and he said, okay, you can turn your test over. And all the kids turned their papers over. And on the paper, there was nothing there except for one teeny tiny little black dot right in the center of the paper. And they were all kind of looking at each other like, is, what is this? There's no questions on here. There's no math problems. There's nothing. What are we supposed to do? And so the teacher said, I want you to write on that paper what you see. So all the kids got busy and they just started writing. You know, some of them were writing stories. Some of them were talking about where the dot was. Some of them were talking about the size of the dot. Some of them were talking about the smooth edges of the dot. And they finished, and he picked up the papers, and he decided to read their papers out loud in front of the class. He read every single student's paper, and every paper, without exception, was about the little black dot in the middle of the paper. And he said, I'm doing this because I want you to understand that you're focusing on that little black dot and you forgot completely about the whole rest of that sheet of paper. Nobody wrote anything about that. And the reason I'm bringing that up and why I kind of left it as a surprise because I want to talk about our faith and what happens when we pray for something and we don't get it. We have a tendency to get mad and say, where are you, God? Why are you silent? Why aren't you showing up for me? Why aren't you doing what I want? And we forget all of the blessings like the rest of that paper that God gives us and I think about sometimes I think about Mark remember in Mark the story about the little boy who was healed and the father said Lord I believe help my unbelief and that's me all the time because I think why am I not getting this prayer answered why didn't I get a good score on my test or why is this boy picking on me at school? Or why are my mom and dad having troubles with their health or maybe their finances? Sometimes we wonder, why isn't God answering those prayers? We have to remember all the prayers he does answer. And I've also heard this told, he answers every prayer. It's just not always yes. So we have to remember that. And here's the, here's the this is, it's, it's in Hebrews. Didn't we have trouble with Hebrews a minute ago? <laughs> this is in Hebrew. <laughs> Hebrews chapter 11, and it's verse 6. And I thought about what you said, Andrea. I'm a child, and we should all think like children. He said, but without faith, it is impossible to please him, for, for, he, comes to God, for he who comes to God must believe that he exists and that he is the rewarder of those who diligently seek him. If those kids in that classroom had seeked that entire paper and all the things that were on that and not just focus on the bad little dot in the middle, 
maybe they would have understood that that's what faith is. Faith is seeking the things that God does that we don't even understand or realize that he did and not focusing on the things that we want God to do. So we can do that in our lives. I know we can. I know it's hard. That's hard for adults. It's hard for children. But just remember, you don't always see all the good things that God has, so try to focus on those. Focus on those things that happen in life that we don't even realize are happening. He got us here safely this morning. That's a blessing. Amen. Would somebody like to pray? I missed it last week. I think some. You want to pray? Go ahead. You would like to come up here, or you want to just just hand that to you? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the blessing of another opportunity for us to come here on this Sabbath day. May you help us and guide us and protect us as we go through this day. And help us to focus on all the blessings that you bring into our lives. Amen. Amen.